Hey guys, it's Brittany and I am back with another video. I have been waiting to film this for you guys because I was ordering some things online and they actually came today so that's why I decided to film this video for you. This is going to be a collective haul for the things that I've got this past month. It is quite a bit of things so I'm going to just get straight to it and I will let you know the name of the stores as I'm saying the products because I don't have the bags anymore since this is a collective haul and this wasn't all in one day. So the very first product that I'm going to show you that I recently bought. Now a lot of these things are new and they are like new at the drugstore products too so that's really cool because I can actually show you guys and some of the products I did try out so I can kind of give you like a really quick short review on them. This one I actually have not tried. I did open it but I wanted to show you the entire packaging because it says what it does. This is the L'Oreal Paris Revitalift Miracle Blur Instant Eye Smoother Eye Treatment. So basically this is for your under eyes when you have a concealer and you put this on first to de-puff and I guess this is also supposed to help over time for like crow's feet and dark circles which is really good. It says that there is visible improvement in four weeks. I have not tried this out so I really do not know if this de-puffs my eyes, if it helps with dark circles, any of that. It's a really tiny, tiny little bottle um, and basically I'm guessing you just dot a small amount underneath your eyes before you put on concealer and then it's supposed to like make it not crease and also do what it says. So I'm really excited to try this out. I believe this was kind of pricey, maybe like $8.99, but I did have a CVS coupon so I got it a little bit cheaper. The next thing that I got new at the drugstore is this L'Oreal Paris Boost It High Lift Creation Spray. This stuff is amazing. My hair today is actually has it in it and my hair looks so much more volumized than it was. I haven't washed my hair in three days, guys. Today's my day to wash my hair. And I'm telling you, this stuff is amazing. I have used it, so I can tell you from my own experience today, and I did use it the other day, this stuff is a, a miracle. I mean, I don't know why I have never found anything like this, but this stuff is just so good. And I couldn't believe how inexpensive it was. I was telling my mom when we were at Target, I was thinking it was gonna be like $8.99, kinda like the little thing that I showed you guys for your eyes, and this stuff was only $3.99 at Target. It really, really shocked me. I could not believe it, and it works great. And it's actually a pretty big-sized bottle. These are bigger than my um, dry shampoo, and those are kind of expensive. So I'm letting you know this stuff is great. It really gives you a lot of volume. I didn't really put it as much on this side, but I did put it on this side, and I just, I love it. And it even smells really good, too. Another thing that I got for your hair is this Kristoff Professional Shaping Hairspray. This is a shaping hairspray like it says um, basically I never tried this before I seen this in somebody's haul and they just raved and raved about it and they said that this is a really good hairspray for shaping your hair and I've been really into like shaping my hair I mean I'm not really into like straightening it that much anymore and when I do like to style it I like to wand it curl it whatever and I really wanted a good shaping hairspray that wasn't going to make my hair really sticky and that was also going to make it kind of smell good and I heard really great things about this so I'm really excited to try this. I purchased this at Ulta and yeah. The next thing that I got is something that I actually tried out pretty recently but I fell in love with it the very first time that I tried this. This is the Murad Acne Spot Treatment um, and this stuff works miracles. I had really really bad cystic acne recently on my chin and I put this stuff on literally the next next day this stuff made my acne spots go away so much. I'm not even kidding you. I've never ever used an acne spot treatment that did such a great job like this one did. And I did try this out before I actually purchased this and I got a little tester from Sephora and I'm seriously in love with this stuff. It was like $20 for this bottle and it, honestly you really don't need that much of this stuff so I'm, this is probably going to last me a long time. But I like to use this every single night after I'm done washing my face and this stuff just it's so great. Like, I seriously cannot live without this stuff anymore. I've been using this for two weeks. I just used up my tester, and I decided to purchase another one, uh, the actual bottle, and it just works so great. And this I ordered, um, from Ulta with that shaping hairspray, but I did actually get the tester at Sephora. Um, another thing that came in my Ulta order is this NYX concealer, and it's actually green. Now, green is supposed to cancel out redness, and I do have a lot of redness on my chin area, and just my face is kind of red. Um, I'm just really pale, and so my cheeks are really red, and you can really see like my acne spots and stuff, like when I do have them, this they're, they're just red. So this stuff I wanted to give a try because it's really, really creamy. I like these 
NYX concealers and the green one I've never tried so I just wanted to give a green concealer a try you know just to see if it actually does cancel out the redness in your face and the next thing that I got is this exfoliating cleanser, cleanser also from Murad um, this is a just basic cleanser and it has H AHA and BHA in it which is supposed to be really great for your skin and also for like sensitive skin, acne prone skin, um, all that jazz. This stuff I've heard really great things about as well so I'm excited to give this a try. Now the next thing that I got in my Ulta order is this NYX Macaroon lipstick. I guess they came out with a macaroon line through NYX and I'm super excited because I'm obsessed with anything like donut like or macaroons or ice cream or anything cute like that. This is actually a color that I don't really have anything like it so that's why I got this one and just before I wanted to get you know any more I wanted to test out the formula of these but this is just a really pretty like lilac lavender color and I'm excited to try it out because I've never really wore a lavenderish lipstick so it's gonna be something new for me but I'm excited to style it and maybe I'll even do a tutorial with it um, and then the next lipstick that I got which is the end of my Ulta order is this L'Oreal lipstick in Everbloom and it's just a really nice spring summer color I love these kind of like rosy pink shades and these L'Oreal lipsticks are really good formula so now moving on to some more CVS products I have a ton of stuff that I have not opened yet so I'm really excited to show you guys everything alright I really needed a new well actually not a new one I just needed one in general lipstick that was a mauvish color and this one I found from Milani because one I love Milani lipsticks they smell amazing and the formula is just great and this one is in plum rose it's just a really nice plummy rose color like it says and I'm just really excited to start wearing these kind of shades and I really don't have anything like this color so that's why I wanted to get one and Milani is just a really great lipstick brand and then next I have a eyeliner this is from the Maybelline chromatics like line I think it's new or like in a limited edition thing I know they have like purple and pink but I did get the turquoise one because I have like hazelish brown eyes and turquoise and purple are the two colors that are supposed to look really good on like brown hazel eyes and I have not tried this out yet but this is what it looks like and this is also one of my favorite colors is like this turquoise blue so that's why I really wanted this one and then I decided to get this covergirl and Olay deep puffer eye concealer I'm obsessed with concealers, I don't know what it is, but I freaking love concealer, like it's just, ah, uh, it's amazing. I'm extremely picky when it comes to concealer and I just will buy a ton. I literally have an entire drawer with concealer in it. If you guys have seen my makeup collection, you know I have a lot of concealers and also my vanity area has like about 25 concealers in the little drawers. Yeah, it's really bad. Um, but I, I also got another one because this is new too and I have to try everything. So this is a, the CoverGirl Ready Set Gorgeous Concealer and this says it's oil free. It's like the Katy Perry line. It came out with like a foundation and like a few other things but I just wanted to try the concealer because I like concealer. I don't know if I showed you the other one I was talking about, but this is the CoverGirl and Olay one. And it's supposed to be like a deep puffer, so it's supposed to deep puff your eyes. It has like a little metal, like, thing, metal applicator. There we go. And you just put it on like that, and I'm excited to give that a try too. Yes, I'm just excited to try all these products, guys. I can't wait to, like, jinxie. That would be my dog. She's on my floor. Um, but yeah, I'm just really excited to try all this and I'm definitely going to be doing some tutorials with all these new products because I hope they work. Okay, so now moving on to another CVS product that I got. This is my favorite foundation right now. I did mention this in my favorites video, which I will link down below. April favorites. Um, and this is the CoverGirl Outlast Stay Fabulous Foundation and I get it in the color Classic Ivory. And the shade number is 810. Love this foundation. I'm wearing it right now and it is just... It's Gorge. I love it so much. It is the best foundation from the drugstore that I've ever tried in my entire life. It's the coverage of a concealer. It has SPF in it and it's just great. So it doesn't break me out either. I also did get another one and that was because it was buy one get one 50% off. So hey, if you go to CVS, pick up some CoverGirl stuff because it's buy one get one 50% off right now. And then I got this new BB cream. I am super, super picky when it comes to BB creams because I feel like they're super oily on my skin and they just cause me to break out because oils really cause me to break out like extremely bad. I wanted to give this one a try because it said that it had salicylic acid in it, which is obviously an acne treatment. If you guys didn't know that, it's an acne treatment. And this is an 8-in-1 Beauty Balm. So this is what the cover looks like. It's from Maybelline. It is a new product and I could not find this anywhere but I did find it at a CVS and I had to go like on an extreme hunt for this. 
Um, I have not used it yet, and it's supposed to like heal your acne blemishes too, so if you already have them, it's supposed to heal them, and then if you don't have them, it's supposed to like prevent them. So I'm excited to try this because I have not tried a BB cream that I really like yet. I've tried like Garnier and like L'Oreal, like a bunch of different ones, and I haven't found one that I've really liked. I've always just given them away or kept them and threw them in the drawer and never used them. So I'm, you know, hoping that this works well for me um, because I need one. I'm tired of just always wearing foundation. I need a good BB cream for those rushing days. So another thing that I got from CVS is this Revlon mascara. It's new and I got it in the blackest black. I don't really know what drew me to this really. Um, probably just because it was new, but it says like bold lacquer. It's supposed to make your lashes grow, so I guess that was kind of cool. Um, length and volume mascara, and I just like the wand on this. I'm really into these wands. I do use a bunch of different mascaras, like I layer, just layer mascaras, because you guys know I love mascara. And um, these ones are really good for like volume, volumization, is that a word? <laughs> for making my lashes voluminous. And I just really, liked this so hopefully it's good another thing that I got from CVS CVS is like taking all my money <laughs> this is the Maybelline eye studio quad in the color nude romance this is a limited edition palette and I love love these palettes if you guys watch my makeup collection you guys know that I have a ton of these palettes and this one is just super nice and it is kind of like a romantic eyeshadow quad and I just love all of the colors and I wear these colors quite frequently so yeah I haven't tried this out yet though because I wanted to show it to you guys first but all of this stuff I was very very tempted to try out but I knew I wanted to film this video for you okay next two products are from Victoria's Secret and I actually heard about these two products from it's Blondie Casey here on YouTube and they are two bronzing products yeah summer is coming up so I me major white girl over here needs to get her tan on and I really needed a good like self tanner um, I do use the Saint Tropez one but I did want to give some other ones a try so this stuff is the instant bronzing tinted body spray with natural aloe vera so this is actually um, one that makes my skin like really soft and this is also is for like super fast on the go like if I completely forget to put my Saint Tropez on after the shower I can just spray this stuff on rub it in really really quick and I'm good to go and I'm like pretty tan so that's what I really like about this stuff because I did um, put this on me like twice and I really did like the way that it looked it wasn't too orangey and it made my skin really soft and the smell of it um, isn't bad at all it just smells I don't know it actually kind of smells like perfume so it's really not bad and then I got the self tanning tinted lotion with avocado oil in it and this is just to kind of prep your skin and also give it like a tinted glow and I really really love the bottle too uh, how it's ombre I think it's really pretty and shiny and I don't know I didn't notice a significant difference with oh whoops I didn't notice a significant difference with the color of my skin after I used this, but it did make my skin really soft and I did see some really pretty like glitter. Um, but I don't know if I will repurchase this again because it's a little bit like, pricey. Um, it was $15, but they were having a sale for if you get like two, so I guess it wasn't so bad. And then another thing that I got from Victoria's Secret is from their new line. This is a body splash called Island Rush and it's Pomo Pomolo? Pomilo, I don't know, but it's some word in coconut water, and it just smells really good. You guys know I love me some coconut, and it's just a very tropical, coconutty, beachy smell, and it's going to be perfect for the summertime. So those are everything that I got from Victoria's Secret, and now moving on to the things that I got from The Body Shop. They were having a sale on all of their body butters, so I did get one of their body butters, and of course, again, we're talking about coconut, I got the coconut body butter. This stuff smells so good I can't even it, it just smells really good it smells like a coconut cream pie and that's my favorite kind of pie and now I want coconut cream pie but it just smells really flipping good it smells like you're just at the beach tanning and I feel like I describe that in every one of my videos about something like oh if you feel like you're at the beach tanning and like it's coconut yeah it's because I'm really 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 obsessed with coconut stuff guys like I love it so I'm really happy with this purchase because I love their body butters from there and it was ten dollars and these are usually twenty and you get a lot of stuff in this like this is a really big jar of body butter and it's gonna last me a very long time so I'm happy with this purchase I miss going to the body shop. I totally forgot that they're body butters. Like, I used to get them all the time, and I forgot how good they were, and I love them again now. 
Um, and then I got this Honey Bronze Shimmering Dry Oil. I'm very pleased with this stuff. I did purchase this two days ago. And I seen this on Pinterest and I seen like a picture like combining two legs. And you guys might have seen it if you guys are into Pinterest or Tumblr or something. But it's this dry oil and you basically just put it on your skin. You don't need an applicator, you just put it on your hands. And it's an oil that's supposed to make you more tan and like shimmery. And also give you kind of like a like wet kind of look if that makes sense you know how like the bodybuilders have like it looks like you know they're like they're sweating so they look like wet or whatever what's well, kind of supposed to give you that look but like a shiny okay that was like really weird because I'm like describing somebody like sweating okay just take that rewind that okay don't think about someone sweating but I don't know it's supposed to make you look shiny and pretty and yeah I like it okay and it smells really really good I don't notice a huge tanning thing from this you're not gonna get like a huge tan and look really bronzed so if you kind of want that look, then I would self tan before you put this on and then for some extra shimmer and shininess and glowiness and even a little bit of tanness, use this stuff. And it smells really good too. Some people weren't too fond of the smell, but I love it. I think it smells really, really good. This was $22 and it's a huge bottle, so this is going to last a very long time. And I love, love the smell. Next place that I went to was Bath & Body Works and I got a ton of stuff from there as usual. I got two of these almond and honey body scrubs because I love the smell of this. It's a really nice soft soothing scrub and it really makes my skin feel like a baby. It's so amazing. I love these body scrubs. My mom is obsessed with them and they were having a sale on them so I got two and she got two. This one's my favorite one and my mom likes the apricot one but this just smells so good. I love the smell of almond and then the honey is just a great combination. So I got two of these and then I got this Mad About You fragrance mist. I know I have a lot of sprays, but this I could not pass up on because it just smells, it doesn't even smell like a body spray. It smells like kind of like a, a strong, like expensive perfume. Even my mom, like she's really picky and my best friend, they are so picky when it comes to scents. And they said this smells really, really good for a cheaper kind of body splash. This is amazing. And then I got this Endless Weekend Fragrance Mist. It's from their new collection that just came out. Um, and I really like it. And it smells like a really like fruity kind of islandy drink. I don't, it doesn't really seem like it would smell like that from the bottle and like the color of the bottle. But it's a, it does smell really fruity to me and I did like the smell of that. And then I did get one of my favorite scents that I am obsessed with from Bath & Body Works. It's the Oahu Coconut Sunset. I got this because I was out of the small one and I got the bigger one, obviously, so I don't run out. And this stuff smells, again, like coconuts and a beach and the sunset and you're at the beach and you're in Hawaii and yeah. We already described this in my April favorites. We don't need to go over it again. And then, of course, while I was there, I had to pick up some candles. So the first candle that I got, I had been wanting for a really long time. Ever since I had smelt this candle, when it came out, I was like, this is the most amazing smelling candle. I love it. Oh, just, it's so me. And it is the Sun Drenched Vineyard. And they describe it as a full blend of rich fruit, white wine grapes, and French oak recalls an unforgettably day at a family-run vineyard in a tiny village. Okay. But this is what it looks like. This smells so yummy. It's definitely like a grape fruity smell. And then the next one is probably one of my favorite ones that they ever came out with. This is, first off, totally cute because it matches my room. It's in Pink Petal Tea Cake. Yum. Like Pink Petal Tea Cake. Cute name. Smells delicious. And they describe it as... Tea for two becomes even sweeter with the fragrance of a pink petal tea cake made from garden rose petals, freshly baked cake, and vanilla glaze. Roses, cake, icing, here's your candle. And it matches my room, which is so, so, so cute because it's roses and it's like light pink and if you guys can see my bed, which hey, if you guys see this pillow over here, I also got this new too. It says bitchy and it's supposed to be like Barbie, but bitchy, yeah. I love it, it's really cute. And I just love how this candle matches my room. So when that one's done burning over there, I'm gonna definitely light this one first because I love it. Then I got a lipstick from MAC. This is in the color Shy Girl. I'm wearing it today and it's just a really nice, like nudie pink peach color. Really love it. And on top of it, I have a new lip gloss that I got from Sephora in the color Strip Tease. And this is a NARS lip gloss and I am obsessed with it and I'm wearing this on top of Shy Girl. Kind of a pricey lip gloss, $26 for this thing, but I really, really could not pass it up. I fell in love with it when I put it on in the store. That always happens, and 
I had to purchase it. But I had points, so kind of made me feel better. Oh wait, another thing that I got from Bath & Body Works was this Honolulu Sun um, foaming hand soap. I wanted to try their new hand soaps because if you guys noticed, if you guys love Bath & Body Works like I do, you probably know that they changed their um, like design I guess you could say on like their soaps and their lotions and stuff because they changed their formulas and antibacterial soap isn't always the best soap for you it has like chemicals and not that great of things and I guess they had been getting complaints from people who are more natural and vegan and stuff like that so they changed their formula because they got an overwhelming amount of complaints and I know all this because I asked the people I'm like why did you change your things and that's what they told me and I want to just try one of their new ones because I hadn't actually tried one of their stuff that had like the new design and this is of course Island Coconut and Pacific Rum because first off my bathroom is beachy and this is just gonna look really cute in there. The next thing that I got is something from Sully's Beauty Supply. This is the only thing that I got from there and it is the Tangle Teaser. I had been wanting to try this brush for a while because my hair is fine and long and very tangly so I tried this out and I don't know if I really like it a lot like people say. It is a nice brush to just like comb out but I don't think if your hair is extremely tangly this will get out all the knots easy like people say it does. For my hair it doesn't work the best but I still am kind of giving it a try. I'm used to using my wet brush so going from a handheld wet brush that's kind of big to a little tiny thing like this and brushing out my hair just feels kind of weird and I just feel like it gets caught in my hair really easily. But I'm still giving it a try. It wasn't that expensive, so I wasn't out like a ton of money or anything. And if I don't like it, I can just give it away to someone. But yeah, this is what I got from Sally's recently. Jeez, guys, I'm sorry. I'm going like so out of order because I just like threw everything on my bed. Um, I did get these two wallflowers from Bath & Body Works as well. This one is in Peach Bellini, which is so good. I love the smell of peaches. And this is also one of my favorite scents in Watermelon Lemonade. And so you just plug these into the cute little like wallflower things and it just makes your room or bathroom smell really good. This is from Claire's. These ones happen to be the first. They have like dream catchers and feathers. I really liked these. Their earrings were buy two, get one free, so I got these ones. I love little dangly earrings and I haven't worn dangly earrings in a pretty long time, so I thought I would get some more. And then I got these ones because I'm obsessed with beach themed stuff. This has like seahorses, seashells, anchors, little starfishes. I'm really excited to wear these. I'm probably gonna put some on after the video. And I just love them, they're so cute. And then I got this, which is an ear cup, and this has starfishes on it. And I was thinking about wearing this for the video too, but my hair would have been covering it because it would have been on this side. And so it wouldn't really made sense to wear it. But they were buy two, get one free, and I love, I mean, I hadn't been to Claire's in so long. And they have so many like anchor things and dream catchers and like all this stuff that I'm really into. So when I seen these, I like died in the store, of course, and I was like, I have to get them because they're just, I love them. And then another thing that I got from Claire's was this br uh, headband, and I could not believe how expensive this headband was. I was thinking it was like $8 or something. It's really pretty. It's like, has like little gems, beads on it and stuff like that. I mean, it's a nice headband, well made and stuff like that, but uh, can you just guess how much this is right now? Like, just guess. This was $20 for this headband. Yeah, no. I could not believe that it was that much, but there was a huge line behind me, and I was just kind of, I, I get really embarrassed easily, so when the lady was like ringing me up and my price came up, I'm like, for three earrings and this, it came to like, almost like, it was like 50 something dollars, like $50, it was just insanity. Um, but I, I do like it, and I will wear it, it's just $20 for this, I don't think it's worth it. But things happen and you buy things that you don't need, so yeah. And then I got some clothes, okay. I went to Forever 21 and I got this dress. I wanted a new dress for going out when I'm like going out clubbing with friends or just out to dinner or something. I wanted a cute tight dress, so I got this pale pink one. And I'm obsessed with it. I love this color on me. I think it just like looks really cute. It's one of my favorite colors. I have a blazer that I get tons of compliments on that is this color and everyone says like this color looks really good on me. So when I seen this dress, I was like, oh, the color, like I have to get it. And I'm just, I get really happy to wear cute dresses. So there's that. And then I got these leggings that I thought were really, really cute. I love these colors. I got a shirt that I showed you guys in my recent haul video, my spring haul, I think. And it kind of had this pattern. These are from Hollister. They were the last ones, the last small, the last 
ones ever, so I'm guessing these might have been popular. But they're like high rise leggings and they're pretty thick so I can wear these like as jeans and then wear like a long t-shirt to cover my bum so I don't have to like show it and whatever and I just think these are really cute. And then I got two shirts from Charlotte Russe. The first one being this like heart dream catcher kind of shirt. I was like drawn to it because I love dream catcher type things and this color is one of my favorite colors. And then I got this anchor tank top, which was the last one. They said, oh my gosh, those are going so fast. We don't even have any more of those. And my mom, best mom ever, she found it in the back. It wasn't even where it was supposed to be. And it was in my size. So she got me this. And it just has an anchor on it. It's like a coral color. And funny thing, I don't really have anything like this color in my wardrobe whatsoever. So that's cool. And I actually, th oh no, one more thing. I got more of my toothpaste. I use the 3D White Crest toothpaste. This stuff is really good. I think this is like a new formula of this as well because it's the 3D White Lux, and it used to not look like this. So I think they like vamped the formula and made it like a more whitening toothpaste. But I love it. it does I do feel like my teeth are much or they like get whiter from that toothpaste? I don't know. It could just be me. But yeah. Thank you guys so much for staying with me the whole video if you did and made it because I know this video is probably going to be really, really long and my camera is like about to die and I've been recording for, oh gosh, I have a lot of editing to do. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to leave a thumbs up and subscribe for more videos. I make videos every single week. I love you guys so, so much and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye. Hey guys, it's Brittany. So today's video is going to be my April favorites video. I seriously can't believe how fast this year has gone by. It is just insane. It's already May 1st and I'm just, oh, it's just wow. I was kind of contemplating on doing an April favorites video because